What's up, G.I. Joe fans? Welcome back to the MIB Master Museum. I'll be your curator today. And guys, we got another fun one for you. The G from the G.I. Joe versus Cobra line, 2002. We have River Assault with Gung Ho. This is a fun set for me. Uh, I picked this set up for a couple reasons. Um, back in 2002, I got this guy from uh, Walmart. And to me, this set is, it was never intended to be a collectible. Uh, Hasbro never intended it to be a collectible. I, can, I intended it for it to be a collectible. <laughs> but this, this set was never intended to be a collectible. Um, this set was intended for the younger demographic, the kids to play with. As you can see, he's got his uh, his kayak, and as he says, the kayak really floats. And it's a fun it's a fun little uh, set. Nice size kayak. It's gonna support GI Joe very nicely in there. It's got the nice um, camouflage paint on it then you have the you have the fake kayak paddles and then you have the real kayak paddles that goes all the way up there and comes all the way down so Joe can really uh, do his thing he's got a nice gun I want to say those are like grenades or bullets or something but you know we'll, get, we'll we'll find out more about that it's attached to his gun strap though he's got boots I don't know what he has on right now we can let's pull him around. Goggles. I think he just have his feet and just I don't think he has anything on his feet. Sorry for the glare, guys. It's these boxes that that were made like this, they're made in such a way that this particular uh, artwork albeit very cool it blocks the lighting for me getting in to, to, to give you guys a great you know viewpoints but we're gonna get it we're gonna work around that anyway as you can see our gung-ho figure is pretty cool he's got the molded t-shirt on um, he's got cloth shorts on got the hey he's got the gung-ho grip hands <laughs> named after him which are really cool. As you can see, these hands uh, that they put on the figures, now they have no issue uh, grappling, or I think these are the best hands ever made. He's got his logo on there, Marine logo. Nice hat. Cloth tie there, string there. Here's another great shot of Gung Ho down here at the bottom let's turn the box around the canoe is definitely real quick the the canoe is definitely the selling point uh, for me it was the selling point because it's a big canoe uh, I am all about the vehicles and the play sets especially when you can when they work you know you can put uh, your GI Joe in this canoe Gung Ho in this canoe and he can get on the white water rafting. <laughs> would have would what have would been really nice. Would have been really nice. Truly nice. If there was like some type of a weapon or something, some cannon or something. Okay, I might be going too far, guys. <laughs> but I don't know where you have your holes right here. I don't know what and maybe those are for the um for the canoes, for his paddles, I should say. He can stick his paddles in there. That's the only thing I can think of. But at any rate, this set, uh, price-wise, let's go up top for you. Uh, price point didn't cost me an arm and a leg. This uh, set cost uh, $24. Wasn't bad, probably 26 with with tax. Here's a great uh, side shot. Of gung ho with his canoe, his kayak, I should say. Great diorama shot there. 
really cool just a fun set it's no way i could have left this in walmart i just couldn't do it we can turn it all the way around guys once again the uh the box itself is a piece of art it's a it's it's a 3d comic book um and a history book into you know the the history of this this figure what this figure was about it gives you the background on Gung Ho and the story of what he's about to do. Here's a blown up shot of what we saw on the side of the box. The attention to detail on this box is phenomenal. They didn't have to put a lot of this stuff on the box. They could have packaged this box simply in a blue box, uh, labeled it G.I. Joe, put the label on there. And, you know, kids were going to still probably uh, buy it. That's Hasbro going, you know, the extra mile. And I appreciate them for doing it because now with that in mind, they they were thinking about us collectors, you know, because having a museum and being able to show this figure um, from 2002. This is C10 museum quality right here. Back out. Being able to show this figure um, as it was bought off the toy store shelf in Walmart. In the year 2002 you can't beat that and you have people can see what this box was about what it was illustrating what it was trying to sell uh, inside of the box the product inside of the box and all of that plays a part here's his file card gung ho's file card Louisiana <laughs> Here's the year, 2002. Guys, what do you think about this this set? Um, did you did you own this set? Did you have this set at some point? It was a, to me, it was a really cool set. I would like to hear about it. Hey, you want to share a comment? Please do so. Leave a comment under in the comment section right underneath this video. We can get the chatter started on Gung Ho. And the river assault is turning back around. Just cool. Uh, this is a, a a set that's going to our archives, and uh, we wanted to share them with you guys. Um, one of my favorites, but unfortunately, because of the, so many vehicles, I just I can't keep everything in our main collection room i just can't do it and i would like to but uh this is a figure that i'll go to the archives uh on occasions and take a look at because uh he's that fun didn't cost an arm and a leg uh secondary market you can still find this guy for a little of nothing and uh probably in this condition you'll probably pay a little more for this condition uh c10 condition but for the most part this this is just a really cool figure um like I said, this, to me, the selling point was the kayak. It really floats. It's a, a, a cool vehicle. I'm just, I'm, I'm in love with the vehicles, the boats, the uh, rubber rating crafts and rafts and all that stuff. Uh, it just, it's always been at the top of my list. And then you, you get more bang for your buck with this figure. You get a playset, a true playset, not just a figure. You have all of this, the kayak, the weapons, the, the accessories. And then you get a really cool figure to boot. So you can't lose. You just can't lose. Guys, we'll be here all day. We're just getting the day started. We haven't even had the first cup of coffee yet. So guys, please like and subscribe if you're visiting the channel. Uh, it helps the channel. It gives us a better uh, understanding of what you would like to see. Uh, what you would like us as a, a channel to uh, provide you. Um, we're definitely uh, excited about showing uh, the, the museum, the collect the collection inside of our museum. We feel it's a part of the subscribers and the viewers as well. You guys own a part of this museum just as well as we do. I like to think of it as somebody asked me this question. You know, if, if I would sell my uh, collection, and I I told them 
Probably never. Uh, I I view myself as a as a care uh, caretaker um, of this museum, and more than likely it'll get passed on to somebody else that feels somewhat the same way I do about G.I. Joe and all these beautiful uh, action figures and collectibles and just just the preservation and hi historical value of G.I. Joe and the rest of these action figures that, that exist inside of our museum here at MIB Master Museum and I'm just a caretaker and it, eventually I'll it, you know when when I pass on and die <laughs> uh, it, it'll you know, it'll get passed on to somebody else uh, that feels the same way I feel. So that's just that. That was the question. That was the the response I gave that person. They said, "Man, you 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 wouldn't sell it. You wouldn't none of it. No, I don't buy them to sell, guys. You know, I don't buy them to sell. So that's that's just somebody wanted to know that question, and like I said, we'll ask we'll ask the tough questions." We'll answer the tough, tough questions. So but that wasn't a tough question. That, that was an easy question. Uh, I'm, ju I'm just a caretaker. Yes, I, I own the museum. I own every figure inside of the museum. But at the end of the day, I'm really just a caretaker. I, you guys, you can't take this with you. When you pass on from this life, you can't take this stuff with you. You know, it's nice. So I try to enjoy it as much as I can on a daily basis. Uh, why I why I still can so with that being said we like to uh, welcome our new subscribers we like to thank our old subscribers uh, we love you guys to death thanks for the love and support the comments uh, checking into the channel um, really communicating and uh, helping us you know with some of our little games that we play here at the museum we appreciate all of that and with that being said guys you know the drill. God bless. And keep collecting.